fixeasy.com. Today we'll be doing a complete teardown and reassembly of the Motorola Nexus 6. The tools needed to complete this repair are a T4 Torx screwdriver, plastic opening tools, a nylon spudger, a SIM card ejection tool, a pair of fine tip curved tweezers, an iSesimo, and a heat gun. We'll begin disassembly of the Nexus 6 by removing the SIM tray using a SIM ejection tool. Next, we'll insert an iSesimo between the back cover and the midframe. Once we have a small gap, we can use a nylon spudger to free the back covering from the adhesive holding it in place. With the back covering now removed, we can remove the black rubber covering from the bottom of the device and disconnect the battery connection underneath. Remove the rubber cover from the top of the device and disconnect the power and volume ribbon from underneath. There are 22 T4 Torx screws around the edges of the phone. Once we have all the screws removed, we'll remove a small piece of captain tape from the vertical section of the ribbon. Insert a plastic safe pry tool in between the LCD assembly and the midframe. Run the opening tool along the perimeter of the phone releasing the midframe from the LCD assembly. With the assemblies now separated, we will lift the contacts of the inductive charger from the battery. Remove the battery from the mid-frame. Remove the contacts for the inductive charger from the mid-frame next to the camera lens cover. Use a nylon spudger to remove the inductive charger from the midframe.
pry the ear speaker from the top of the midframe. Use the pointed end of a nylon spudger to pry the headphone jack from the assembly. Remove the lens cover by prying from the top using an eye sesamo. Under the lens cover is the dual LED flash ribbon. Lift the LEDs from the frame using the fine tip curved tweezers. Free the contacts from the other side and slide it through the slot. Remove the one silver T4 torque screw from the left hand side of the midframe and remove the silver bracket that is holding the physical power and volume buttons in place. With the bracket removed, the buttons will simply slide from the side of the frame. With the buttons removed, we will lift the small metal bracket and remove the power and volume button ribbon from the assembly. We can now start to disassemble the LCD assembly. We will start by removing the T4 Torx screw and the small metal bracket from the top of the motherboard. Remove the small piece of captain tape. Lift the clasp and slide the connection for the rear facing camera out. Use a spudger to disconnect and remove the front facing camera. Remove the captain tape from the LCD connection, lift the clasp and slide the ribbon from the connector. Remove the captain tape and lift the clasp to remove the digitizer ribbon. Slide the ribbon from the connection and then lift the digitizer ribbon from the motherboard. Pry the loudspeaker free from the motherboard using a nylon spudger. We can now free the motherboard from the LCD assembly. To begin reassembly, we will first reinstall the motherboard. Reconnect the digitizer connection, slide the cable into the connector, close the clasp, and reapply the captain tape. Slide the LCD ribbon back into the connection, close the clasp and reapply the tape. We will reinstall the small metal bracket at the top of the motherboard and replace the small T4 Torx screw. We will replace the loudspeaker, making sure that the contacts are facing up. Reconnect and reseat the front facing camera. Reconnect and reseat the rear facing camera, making sure to replace the small piece of captain tape over the connection. Slide the contacts from the flash ribbon through the frame and re-adhere the LEDs to the frame, and then we will re-adhere the contacts in place. There are two tabs on the lens cover. Slide them into the bottom and then pop in the top. Reseat the headphone jack. Replace the inductive charger by lining up the contacts at the top of the ribbon with the small post next to the camera. Make sure the ribbon is lying flat and re-adhere the inductive charger to the midframe.
Replace the battery and re-adhere the inductive charger contacts to the battery. Reseat the ear speaker. Replace the volume and power button ribbon, making sure to slide the connection through the slot in the back of the midframe. Make sure that the bracket is clipped into place. We'll replace the physical buttons by sliding them into the left side of the frame. We'll replace the small metal bracket, making sure to hold both the power and volume buttons captive. And then we'll replace the single silver screw holding the bracket into the midframe. Replace the vertical portion of the ribbon, reinsert the cable, close the clasp, and re it to the midframe. Reconnect the midframe and the LCD assembly, pressing along the edges to make sure that it's seated. Reconnect the power and volume ribbon connection, and replace the rubber cover. Reconnect the battery connection, and then replace the black rubber covering over it. We will now replace the 22 T4 Torx screws. Re-adhere the back cover. And finally, reinsert the SIM tray. And there we have it, another successful repair by FixEasy.com. All of the parts and tools used in this video today are available at fixeasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.